<laughs> hey, Billy Hofacker here from Total Body Bootcamp with a special blog for LIFitnessBootcamp.com featuring our one of our transformation coaches, and it is the great Sam. Sam. Awesome. So basically, we're here at Michael Park, and we're going to shoot an awesome video. And this video is is designed to empower you, especially the uh, female viewer here, on increasing your strength in ways that you might not even imagine right now, and what that can do for your you overall. So I'm going to just ask Sam a few questions about her experience with uh, strength training, with uh, Total Body Boot Camp, and uh, her experience working uh, with her strength goals. So. Sam, first of all, how are you doing today? Great, great, great. What's how are you? what's new in the life of Sam? Um, <laughs> <laughs> not much. Just finished a great workout running around at uh, Michael Park. Awesome. And now I'm just chatting with Billy. Awesome, Sam. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining us on the blog. This blog, uh, this video blog or vlog, is uh, it, it is in addition to the written blog that Sam has written. That's on the blog with the video. So be sure to check out both because you might find some more information in there. So anyway, Sam, let's get right to it. What was your experience when you first started with Total Body Bootcamp training? Because we all know that you were a, uh, a client before you were the great trainer that you are now. So when you started with where were you at with your fitness? Were you able to do uh, uh, push-ups? Were you able to do pull-ups? Things like that. Just, just shed some light on where you were at in regards to your fitness there. Uh, when I started Total Body Boot Camp, um, I couldn't do barely anything. I could do maybe eight push-ups, and that was on my knees. Uh, you know, 30 seconds of mountain climbers, I would have passed out. Uh, couldn't run a mile. Um, couldn't do anything. Um, well, I could use some things, but not a lot. Billy one time said, we're going to do pull-ups. And I had to hang on the bar. And he's like, come on, pull up, pull up. And I couldn't even hold on to the bar. And then he's like, all right, just hang from the bar. And I couldn't hang from the bar. So um, I decided I was going to make a difference and do chin-ups, do push-ups. Uh, so two years later, Billy has taught me to do a pull-up. Awesome, yeah. Sam. Now, I just have a quick side question that I just thought of. Now, what gave you, uh, if you, if you, if you know, if not, that's fine. But what gave you the uh, the idea that you that you could accomplish more? Like, how, like how come? Like a lot of people did. They probably don't even watching this video. They might not believe that they could do a lot of real push-ups or even do some chin-ups because you don't see a lot of women doing those things. They usually just run to the gym and jump in an aerobics class or, or do the treadmill or ellipt elliptical. So, what made you believe that you could accomplish those goals? Um, that's actually funny that you said that because. We have a chin-up bar at my house, and I was trying to do chin-ups, and my husband said, girls can't do chin-ups. And really sorry, but that pushed me a little bit harder. So, um, of course, you can do anything you want to do. You just have to work at it. It might not happen in a week, in a month. It might take a year. It might take two years, but... As long as you work at it, you're always going to get there. I can de definitely vouch for that. Working with you on the chin-ups over the last, uh, helping you out there over the last uh, few months now. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you know it's a process, but you know like you said, if you keep at it, good things are bound to happen. So huge props on that. Now, where are you at now um, in regards to those things? Your your push-ups, your chin-ups, your mountain climbers, your overall fitness, your running. Where or we're focusing today on the chin-ups because that's such a uh, I think that's such a uh, great exercise to demonstrate a, a strength especially in the upper body that a lot of women do unfortunately lack uh, in that area um, I can get through boot camp class without uh -huh. a problem so um, mountain climbers my endurance is much better my strength is so much um, improved I can do push-ups like a mad woman <laughs> um, you know yeah and the first time I did a, a chin-up I was like oh my gosh uh -huh. Because it took forever, but I finally did it, so very happy. Sure. How good does it feel? And, 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 and again, what's the point of being able to do this stuff? Why not just not do it and uh, take the easy way out and just kind of uh, coast along? Why, why push yourself in this physical area, and what does it do for you as a person? Um, well, achieving anything always makes you feel so much better, so much stronger, so much confident. In the physical aspect, you look better, so you feel better, you're happier healthier. 
Awesome. Uh, could not have said that better. So now, some people watching this, they might not believe us. Why can't we just we could just stand here and act like you could do tons of uh, push-ups and chin-ups? We gotta show them. We gotta put our money where our mouth is. So let's uh, show our viewers here how awesome you are doing at these <laughs> at these chin-ups, and uh, so people can see yeah, what, what it's not really a chin -up people can here. see what is possible. Yeah. Awesome, Sam. Nice. That is amazing. Awesome job. Nice. Good job. I Sam. Hang there. <laughs> now look at her. Sam, huge props for you. Keep up the great work. You are an inspiration to me. You're an inspiration to our clients. You're an inspiration to anybody watching. So uh, reach out to Sam. She's here at Total Body Bootcamp. She's here to help you. She wants to help you reach that next level, as we all do. So thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more awesome uh, uh, vlogs and blogs. Take care.